everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, it's Cindy here. Um, just trying to get comfortable in my chair. My squeaky chair. Do my scare chair squeaky. I don't care. All right, um, guess what time it is? It's time for my giant life. Now I just took my trusty little sanding block here and I just sanded the, the finish off this card. And what I'm gonna do today, what our March prompt is, is my giant day in nature. And what it says is go on a walk, take pictures of things you see along your journey. Take notes about how this walk feels. Um, what do you smell along the way? What kind of wildlife do you see? When you come home, print out your favorite pictures, write your notes as the background to your card. Use some of your favorite nature type stencils and stamps to decorate your card and whatever else inspires you to make this card beautiful. So, um, as you guys know, I uh, live with chronic pain and the more I walk, the more it hurts. So um, what I'm going to share with you is I actually did get to do a little bit of walking while I was on vacation. And I'm going to make a card um, with the, the beautiful stuff that I saw along the way. And I have this thing where I just got, I like peeling this paint off. I don't know why. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is we need to get this card covered. Um, I think I am going to gesso it today just because that's what popped into my head. So we're going to throw some gesso on there. Just give it a little coat. Doesn't have to be, you know, completely whited out. I don't, I'm not looking for that. So now, are you able to get out in nature? If if you are, um, what do you like to do? I used to love to um, just go for walks with my hubs. We'd go for. We live. Um, we live right near town, but we're kind of out of town. If that makes sense. And behind us, there's a great big huge field and some cliff-type um, rocks and um, a bunch of pine trees and a bunch of fields, corn fields. So uh, we used to, you know, go for a walk. There's a, a cell tower back there as well that um, we would go, you know, there's a road back there. We would just go for walks. And we used to do that quite often. And then we also had... Um, trying to think what the name we called it, the teardrop. There was a place that we used to walk um, down our road up around another hill and back around. It was really challenging because the roads were really, um, it was really steep. So we used to walk quite a bit, but unfortunately, I gotta get this crap out of this cap so I can put the cap back on my gesso. Um, unfortunately, you know, now that I have this wonderful issue with my back, I don't get to do that as much. So, with that being said, um, you know, we don't, we don't get to, now we go for rides in the car. <laughs> We're like those old folks that go on a Sunday drive, only we usually don't do it on a Sunday. <laughs> so, um, but I want to share with you what I, you know, got accomplished. I got to dry this up real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so we're dry. Now, um, if you've been watching my videos, I'm not sure if it's, it'll probably be out before this one. Um. These are some of the paints that I got when I was on vacation. And they are from Jerry's Artorama. And it's their brand. And it's called 12 Shades of Gray Acrylic Paint. And I just, I am i don't know why, but I'm enamored by these. Is that the word? Enamored? I'm enthralled. I like these paints. <laughs> I don't know any other way to put it. So, what we're going to do. Um, I am using the uh, Blue Gray the pale gray and the green gray and we're just gonna play 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 I've got so much junk on my desk all right so let's just play um, I'm not looking to really um, make anything I'm just doing a cover-up at this point just making it look funny or pretty or whatever you want to say here I am singing again like Hub says, I'm always singing when I'm happy. I just want to cover this up a little bit. 
Nothing crazy. Just want to play. All I have is a, a cosmetic wedge. Um, I don't wear makeup, so this is the best thing I've found to use these things for. <laughs> uh, so, a little bit too much there. Let's get it out of there. Look at that color. Isn't that cool? I like it. I right, just kind of finish up my gray area here before I go into my green. A little bit along the top. Like it. All right, let's go into the green. I think I got a little bit more green than I'm going to need. So I'm just going to put some off to the side there. And we can always get more if we need it, right? And I might. That probably would have been smarter than put them on the card, but that's okay. I like the little marks this is making, so that's why I'm leaving it like this. It's kind of cool looking. I'm just trying to shade it out a little bit. So, while I was on my vacation, I actually went with my sister and my best friend. We went, oh, got some blue in there. We went um, down to another friend's house down in North Carolina, another girlfriend's house, and we spent a week there. And we just, we had so much fun. Of course, you know, I had to drag them to a bunch of art stores. <laughs> they didn't mind, though. They always seemed to enjoy it. So, uh, you know, we went to some art stores. We did an art museum. Um, you know, we just did some wandering around different stores and met a couple more and made a couple more friends down there. So it was a lot of fun. All right, let me dry this up. I'll be right back. All right, um, I think I'm going to do this a couple ways. First of all, I want to show you what I do with my leftover paint. These are just some envelopes that will end up going out in happy mail. So I just, whenever I have leftover paint here, I put it on these or on, you know, an art journal page, whatever. Um, here's a couple more. These are pretty much ready to go. But I just want to show you that real quick. Now, um, this I'm going to do a couple different ways. And again, because I'm stuck on these paints right now, this is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to use a yellow gray because I use the green. So I'm going to use a yellow gray. And I'm going to use a little bit of the orange gray. Where's the orange gray? Right here. This orange gray, I'll be honest with you, it does not look like orange at all. It's more of a, I don't know. I don't want to really call it a top, maybe? I don't know. But, um, so I'm going to use those. This is a stencil. I have no idea. This is a Martha Stewart craft stencil. Most likely I got it on clearance. So, um, that's why I'm using it. But I want to... What I want to do is I want to stencil this little leaf thingy here, vine, whatever you want to call it. I'm actually going to be doing some stenciling and some stamping, so I think that'll be fun. I think it'll be a cool combination. So it's just going to be in the background. Let me put it back on here just like that. And then I'm actually going to do it again with that orangish color. I want to put this on here. Give it a good coat. I might have to go back over that one. I don't think I used enough paint. So, it's so quiet in here right now. I don't have any music on in the background. And um, my pellet stove is not running right now. So it's just really, really quiet in my house. I'm not quite used to that. I'm used to some type of a background noise. I'm not sure I like how quiet it is. I may have to put some music on or something. <laughs> it's just quiet. <laughs> See, I like those. All right, now I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do one more here. Do, 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 do. And then we're going to do some in the orange. Well, what they call orange. I like it. 
perfect. Isn't that pretty? All right, now I want to do some in the orange, but I don't want to do quite so big. Let's go right here. I am going to use the same sponge, though, and that's okay. I don't know why these muted colors right now are just screaming at me to use and it's so funny because you know I normally am the bright pink purple neon you know dilution style colors but these these muted are just really really talking to me so that's why we're using them I like them I, I bought the set they only have like I said it's 12 shades of gray and I just, I love how they're working out right now. Look at that, that's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Now I don't know if I want to do any stamping on it. Hmm. Okay, so I've got three of those. I got three of those. Let me find a baby wipe, which is covered up by envelopes. My desk, if you could see it, is a complete wreck. I have got just a bunch of leftover stuff from vacations. Um, well, not leftover. Stuff that I haven't put away yet. Um, some projects that I was working on. And don't ask me why I'm cleaning my stencils because I never do. So I don't know what the deal is with that. But that one's clean. All right. You know what? I think across the top, I like this, this piece here. So I think we're going to do this across the top like that and we're gonna do that with purple we have a purple gray well actually it's called violet gray so I'll put just a touch of that out and let me tell you this paint a little bit goes a long way that is one thing I found out we're gonna take this and we're gonna clean up that paint but first I'm gonna do this what if that's on there right Close enough. Um, this, like I said, this Jerry's paint, the 12 shades of gray, I actually bought the 0.75 ml um, tubes, which are the big ones. You can, oh, look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> I like it. Um, you can actually go on to... Um, Jerry's and you can get the smaller tubes for like 20 bucks for the set. They're a 0.25 um, tube. <laughs> Nothing came off. Okay. So now let me let, I got to dry this up. I'm not going to worry about that stencil. I need to use up this extra paint on some envelopes and I'll be right back. All right. So this is pretty well dry. Um, now one of the things I want to do is we I want to do some journaling on the background of this. So um, it will most likely be written where you can't read it. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not putting out my personal secrets on here. So um, so I just uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some journaling and here we go. Basically, this says I was so happy to go on, be able to go on vacation with my BFF, my best friend, and my sister, and we really enjoyed, um, we really enjoyed playing around and just relaxing.
this one said we went to a museum and we went to a really cool old um, tobacco town. It was really neat. It had all these old warehouses that are now made into stores. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'm very thankful for the ability to be able to use my scoot and do, which is what I call my scooter. Um, I do have to use it when I'm doing a bunch of walking because if I don't use it, I can't walk. So, let me see what else. Um, says we had beautiful weather the whole time we were there. Now I'm going to leave it at this for right now. Dry this up real quick. And then I'll show you what I'm putting on next. I need my heavy gel. Now when we were out wandering around, um, Boy, this gel just looks really rough. When we were out wandering around, uh, <clears throat> I took some pictures of different things that we found along the way. And, see, I think this gel is really, I don't know. don't know if it's going bad on me or what. It just, it's funny. Anyways, um, I picked up some things along the way. I'll put them right down here. And it's funny because I had read this prompt before I went on vacation. I thought, oh, great. I can pick up some stuff. This is actually a holly leaf. I don't know if I'm not going to be able to get them to stay there. I have to use more gel. Let's try it. Try anything once. Try not to stay there. Another holly leaf. I don't care if they break, that's okay. They're just going to be on there for my project. And i got to put more stuff on them. These are going to take a while to dry. Which is okay. Oops, and there's one of the berries. <laughs> I got these little holly berries. Which I thought were really cute. So actually, where we found this, it's funny, we had just gotten done eating um, lunch at Sweet Tomatoes? Yeah, I think it's called Sweet Tomatoes. We had just got done eating lunch, and um, we went right across the street, or right across the plaza, from Sweet Tomatoes is this lovely little place I don't think any of you guys have ever went to called Michael's. <laughs> so we had to go for a walk. And when we were walking, these beautiful holly leaves, there was a tree, a big holly tree. And um, I had to steal some of the leaves. See, I broke some off. So, yeah, that's how I got my holly leaves. Actually, no, I don't want to go down there. Let's go stay there. Let's go up here. I'm hoping I can get these to stay on here. I don't want them completely flat, but I want them to stick. Guess I'm going to have to stand here until they dry a little bit, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I think this gel might be going bad. It's really weird. It's like, I don't know, nasty. All right, let's get rid of this. Anyways, aren't they cute? So that's my little holly leaf. That's my little piece of nature there. Now I have more things that I want to put on here. Okay. Hold on with the holly leaves. Let's get rid of you. Okay. Now, other things that we did while we were there um, is, like I said, we went to a museum. First of all, this is the first picture that I took. And it was just, whoops, 
upside down of these little pansies and I just thought they were so beautiful so that has to go on there um, this is actually at the uh, Museum of Art which I thought was really really cool and um, so I took a picture of that I'm gonna round the corners on these because I can And then um, I have another picture, but for some reason my uh, program won't talk to my little uh, LG printer with that picture, and it was of a great big huge tree. But these other two pictures that I have here, um, this was an old uh, tobacco uh, factory, I want to say, and um, it was beautiful. It had all this cobblestone, this brickwork, and the buildings were along here, and there was all these little shops in these buildings, and it was just so cool. And here's the outside of one of the buildings. I mean, it was just, it was beautiful to see. So these guys are going to go on here. These guys are going to go on here. And I really want that other picture. So let me go see if I can get my computer, or my, I'm sorry, my printer to talk to my phone. Or my phone to talk to my printer however you want to look at it and we'll be right back all right everybody so I gave this a little bit I had to go out and do you know the the house stuff you know dishes and all that crap so anyways we got that done now what I did um, I found this I believe this is a Tuesday morning I found this of course paper like I really need more paper right no but anyways, I fell in love with this paper, this pad of paper. I got it at Tuesday morning, um, and I just liked, I liked the, I, I'm, for some reason I'm into these muted colors right now. So I really liked the colors of everything in here. I liked the way it was set up. Um, they're just, they're very pretty papers. So anyways, I picked this up. Ooh, that one I didn't see. Look at that. All right, I picked this pad of paper up and I thought, you know, it'd go really well with these muted colors. So what I did is I took out a sheet, it had a big um, flower on it. I used my cutter, I cut little little cards out basically, and then I used my corner rounder and rounded off the cut the pages. And then I just used some of this. Um, I never say it right. Sukwang S O O K W A N G tape, which is made in Korea. And I just taped the pictures on here. Now, I did explain these four pictures. The other picture that I wanted to put in here, for some reason, my LG photo uh, machine is not seeing it in from, the app is not seeing it from my camera photos. So I couldn't do it. And it, what it was is it was this great big huge tree. We went to a flea market. And my sister stood by this tree. And this tree, in the picture, the tree looked this wide. And here she is, just this little tiny well, here you go, a little tiny thing. And the tree was huge. So the closest thing I got, this is actually a picture of a tree that we got, that I took at the museum. So that's going to go in there. Um, the other thing I did is I pulled some wooden goodies out of my little wooden box. Just some different things. I don't know, this little bird guy. He looks like a sandpiper, doesn't he? A heart, just little randoms. And then I also had in there this, uh, it's clay. I have no idea it's shiny it looks like a little rock so I've got that and we're gonna put that on there so we're gonna put these on here then um, out of this pad of paper I cut out one of the birds and then I stuck it through my um, uh, Xyron machine and made it into a sticker so that's the first thing we're gonna do the first thing I want to do is put this bird down because I want him her it whatever he is she is I want my birdie to sit right here in this little holly tree. There he is. Yay. Alright, so there's my little birdie. Because, of course, you know, down in North Carolina, there was birds chirping all the time, and it was wonderful to hear. Because right now we're in winter in upstate New York, and it's just... The birds aren't very much around right now. So trying to figure out how I want to put these on here. Um, I don't want to cover up everything that I did. So we're just going to kind of... Do, do, do. I'm wondering if I should cut these down a little bit. Well, I'm going to put these two together. That's one thing we're going to do. Find a piece of tape. Oh, I'm going 
just put the tape right here on this side. Find my pin. That's not the pin. I'm going to put this one right here. This building, uh, it was so cool. It was so very cool. You know what? And I'm covering up my my little bushes. That's okay. It's funny. This one is really out of context with all of the colors. I'm really wondering if I should put that in there. Of course, now I put these together. <laughs> You know what? I don't think this one is going to go in there, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use that in my journal. So we did see beautiful, beautiful flowers out there, but I'm in that muted, muted tone right now. So um, I think these are going to be here. I like it. All right, so I like where they are. Let's put them down. I'm going to use tape. put it back because if not I end up grabbing for something over there and I end up poking myself and I don't like doing that that hurts see that time I didn't put it down so now what's gonna happen is next time I grab something it's gonna be ow it's pretty warm outside today because my pellet stove hasn't really been running that much. I think the hub said it was around 60 outside. Don't know. Haven't been out there. And don't plan to go out today. Oops, let's turn the picture right side up. That would be a good idea, huh? These go in there. One more. I love playing with these um, big cards in uh, my giant life because we're actually what I'm actually doing is making a record of you know things that go on in my life and I, I just I love this idea. So thank you, Anne, for allowing me to join. I I really enjoy it. Come on, and I can't wait. At the end of the year, I want to bind them all into a book, so it's gonna be fun. All right. So there's my pictures. And now I need to get out the sticky glue. Tacky glue it is. I leave it in this little can so that it's down at the bottom. Make sure that's put back, which it's not. Alright. Now I wanted this little I want this little piece of wood down or little rock or whatever it is. Down here. I'm not sure why, but I do. So let's put it down there. You ever do that? You, you know, you, you find something that's like, oh, I want it here, and you have no idea why. That's just where you want it. Maybe because it's at the bottom of my holly bush? I don't know. So there's my little rock. Okay, and then my little heart, I was thinking, maybe it would go right there. I wonder if I can break this thing off. Yep. And then we just take a brown pit pen and cover that up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That worked. All right. So I want the heart. Oops. See, my stuff is coming out. I don't want to put it there. I'm going to put it right here. I like that flower. And then I just found these little, just little gears that are just dark colors and whatever. And I thought, you know, these are cute. Let's put them on here. This round thing. Go with these round bales. Right? And guys, I'm just winging this. I did not plan this out. I'm just winging it. I got out some stuff that I thought I might want to use and said, okay, let's use it. 
Let's put this guy, this little doodad, put that little doodad right there, just because. I don't know about this little bird. He's not going today. I don't have a button with a flower on it. No, no button. All right, so that's it for that. Now, got to dry this stuff up or just let it dry. All right, I do want to go through and do some outlining of this these little weeds I've got here and maybe do some more dots along this front here, maybe some white dots around the outside. Um, let me, hmm, hang on. Mm -hmm. Hold on just a minute. Very back. All right. So I'm sitting here going, what do I want to do? Okay. I'm just doing it in regular black just because I think that's going to look the best. So I'm just using a Faber-Castell. Um, this is a medium. It's a pit artist pen. Because I don't, I mean, I'm not looking to make these just, I just want them to pop a little bit. So I just do a nice light black around the edges see I like it so that's what I'm doing that's what I'm doing I'm a singing which means I'm happy when I'm not happy I don't sing I also whistle a lot <laughs> I'm not quite sure why but I do the other night when I was cooking last night I was cooking dinner I was uh, whistling away but it just it happens you know you can always tell when I'm happy. And right now I have a fly that's flying around my window here in the studio. And it's the window that's up on the top. So I'm going to have to have my husband get him out of here. He's annoying me. How's it here? So anyways, I'm sure you guys wanted to know that, right? So... This is my day in nature, which I have to say I had a lot of fun with. And I'm not doing these perfect, I'm just playing. Just play sketching. So just kind of putting a little bit of black around them here and there. Um, and just enjoying the process. And you know, I don't I don't want to preach to anybody because that's not what I do. But I see it time and time and time again where so many people are so worried about the end come, the perfect piece, the perfect art journal page, the you know what? <laughs> that's not what this is about. This is about the process. This is about playing with your tools and playing with your supplies and just enjoying what you're doing. I mean, why stress over the outcome um, when it's just the process you should be enjoying? So I'm off my soapbox, but just to let you know, that's how I feel about it. You know, everything I do, it's not perfect. I, it's way far from perfect. But if I was to sit here and say, oh my God, if it's not perfect, I can't do it. Or, you know, I, I hate my art because it's not perfect. No. I enjoy the process. I enjoy playing. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I like the outcome. No doubt about it. Um, but I just, I really enjoy the process. The process of playing with, you know, the different supplies and different paints and whatever. You know, different ephemera and different papers and just enjoying. That's what it's all about. So, um, you know, if, if you're not creating because you're so worried about the um, process or so worried about the outcome, then you need to start thinking about what you're doing. Where is my white? There it is. Sorry. And I'm not preaching. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to preach. That's, that's, no. I'm just letting you know my opinion. So I will be quiet now. But I want to do little tiny dots all the way down to there. Now, 
Now, something I haven't put on here and I want to put on is glitter. Where am I going to put my glitter? My birdie's going to be glittery. This is just a gel pen, a jelly roll pen, and all it is is glitter. It's just a, there's no color to it, it's clear. And the only thing that stands out is the glitter. So that's really cool. Can you see the glitter? See where I drew on it? It's really neat. All right, I think I am done for this month. Here is my page about nature, um, taking a walk in nature. Um, I wrote about what I, you know, what I felt, what I saw, what I, I didn't write about what I smelled because I didn't really smell anything, but um, I had a lot of fun doing this. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, definitely check out the other artists in the description box below because we'll have links to everybody that's doing My Giant Life with Ann Williamson. And if you decide to um, join us, definitely share. And on Annalise's Creations is her page. Um, I think it's Annalise, Annalise's Creations of Mixed Media. All right, let me find out because I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Let me find it. Hold on. So I want to give you the correct name. Annalise's Mixed Media Everything. That is the name of her group. So definitely share it on there. Um, and tag Ann, tag myself, tag the other artists so that we can see what you've created. We, you know, we enjoy that. All right. So as always, have a great time. Have fun. We'll chat with you later. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!